What's up beauties? Welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see I'm back at it with my poodle hairdo. But I don't care. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Kind of cute. So I am going to be filming. Just um, show you some new things that I've been really wanting to try and I've been holding off because I want to film about it obviously. First of all, I got this. From Influencer. This is the Huda Beauty's Resting Boss Face. Um, I'm pretty exciting. We'll just throw that over there. <laughs> I'm pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited to try this. I literally almost bought this and then they emailed me like last week saying I was going to be receiving it in a PR box. I was like, what? Me? Oh my god. I was so shocked. It was so exciting. So yeah, here we are. Anyways, I have a whole bunch of new products actually. Um, some I've tried, some I've played with, and some like I just wanted to show you on camera. So first is the Jeffree Star Magic Star Translucent Setting Powder. Excited. I played with this like two times, but I haven't really had a chance to really look at it and test it out. And then an Artist Couture Highlight. I got a long time ago that I have never ever tried. Um, I'm really excited about this. Elf Poreless Primer Putty. I, putty primer. <laughs> I have been trying to get my hands on this for so long. I finally just ordered it off their site. It, um, so yeah, I'm really excited to play with that. And then I got some eye products here. This is from, this is from a BoxyCharm, but this is from LA Splash. It's like a glitter shimmer eyeshadow and then this is from Ciate Beauty Eye Luster Cream Shadow. Um, these are kind of like the Stila. I swatched them and they look beautiful. So I really wanted to try these out so I'm going to do that today. Let's just jump right in. Oh, I also got this at Sephora. <sighs> like they don't want to give you a bag anymore. Makes me sad. I got the Huda Beauty Nymph Not Your Mama's Pantyhose All Over Body Highlighter. I tried it on the store and I like rubbed it all over my arm and I was like, mm, don't really see anything that popping. And I even tried, this is in shade Luna. I think it's Aphrodite, the next one up. Um, and still didn't really see much. And I was just like, mm, not worth it, I guess walked out of the store in daylight and I was like oh, looked at my arms I was like oh my god I need that so I immediately turned back around and bought it like um it was pretty expensive I think it was like $53 after taxes and everything but um I'm pretty excited I heard it works really good as a primer too um so yeah we're going to be playing with that today so if you want to see me put on all this makeup and play with all this makeup just go ahead and keep watching. Let's jump right in. First, I'm going to start with primer. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This one obviously went super, super viral after um, Jeffree Star reviewed it and he said it worked just as good as the Tatcha primer and if you've been on my channel you obviously know that I have been using that Tatcha primer and I do really like it so there's no scent to this Tatcha primer has like a skincare scent but that's okay I'm not really a picky person about the scent so it does really feel like the Tatcha primer I kind of just like to warm up the product and uh, pick up some on my finger So right off the bat, I do feel like it's tacky, like the Tatcha Primer does feel a lot lighter than the Tatcha Primer. So I'm just going to go in with the holy grail of mine, that's the Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter Foundation. I'm in color Custard, and I'm going to be using a Morphe brush. Um, this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH03 brush, and I just pump some on. Normally I spritz some setting spray on, but I'm like terrified to use this spray because I heard it's like super super strong hold and I don't want um, not be able to move around my foundation so I'm just gonna skip that and just go right in I 
All right, so now I have applied all my foundation. I am just gonna get a mirror and like really look at it. All right, so it looks like my foundation applied like normal. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I see a lot of texture in this area more than I normally do when I'm using the Tatcha primer and I just feel like that's because this one was much more lightweight um, than the other one but I like it I mean it was only eight dollars so that's really good I mean so far it's working good all right and next I'm gonna go in with some concealer this is the Too Faced uh, multi sculpt concealer and this is in shade snow and I'm just gonna dab a do here and dab a do there and we'll blend that out and I wanted to let you guys know I've been using this um, Sonia Kashuk beauty blender beauty sponge lately it's very very a lot larger than the beauty blender but the consistency the softness squishiness of it feels exactly like the beauty blender more than the real techniques one does and I love it so much more than and it's only it was only like five dollars and I got two Alright, so I feel like that's very well blended. On to the next item, which is a new item for me, newish item I really wanted to talk about on YouTube. This is the Jeffree Star Magic Star Setting Powder. And this Magic Star, and this is in the color Translucent. So I have one already opened that I've been trying. Um, I haven't, I think I've tried it like twice. But it comes like this, Jeffree Star, and it's like very skinny. It smells. If you're not a fan of like sweet smelling things, this is not for you. But oh my god, I love, love the smell of it. So it has like a little twist top and it opens up like that. I'm just going to pour some in here. It's very, very fine very very fine oh, so pretty and then I'm gonna take a powder poof and just get some on the tip and I'm gonna push that in to wherever I applied concealer I love it and now that I really pushed that into my skin I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away the excess with this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH01 brush and don't you don't want to swipe away you want to tap tap it away well next I'm gonna go in with some bronzer now this is not a new product but it is in a new packaging um, well new for me because I've always had the old one for so long but this is my holy grail bronzer Too Faced chocolate soleil one and um, let me just say it smells 10 times more intense I don't know if that's because mine was old or if they like added extra scent I can't even open it right now because <laughs> my hands are like slippery there we go very very pretty and then I just take this big fluffy brush, this is the JH02 brush, and I just dip that right in. And then I like to apply some underneath my chin. This kind of just helps decrease a shadow. It makes my double chin disappear a little bit more. And I'm going to take this Sigma angled brush. It doesn't have a number anymore because it's so old. I'm sorry. Um, but it's like F something. F40 I think or F30. And I'm just going to fan this out and 
brush this on the sides of my nose, starting from my eyebrow down. And then I like to apply some on the bottom of my lip. Kind of gives it more of a shadow and makes it look more pouty. Alright. And then I'm going to go in with some blush. I don't know why I said it like that. I love blush. Like I've always been a blush girl. You know what I forgot to do is put this on my face. <laughs> I'll put this on my body so that I can really test out. I guess it's a better idea so that I could really test out this e.l.f. putty uh, primer. But yeah, another video will test this out as a primer and see how it goes. We'll just put this on my body at the end to see what it looks like. Let's apply some blush. I got this Alomar Cosmetics um, blush trio in my... In my... um boxycharm this month it comes with three colors that are like pretty peachy like perfect for summer uh i have castaway paraiso and scorcher and i've already tried these two oh they're so pretty oh my god alomar cosmetics is like killing it with their pigments absolutely love their um eyeshadow palette and then they came out with a second one that I'm I have a feeling we're in a boxycharm so I didn't want to purchase it but oh my god so pretty anyways let's just get to applying it I'm going to apply it with this JH04 brush this is just a small angled brush and I'm gonna take this color paraiso it's been my favorite color um to wear super super pigmented as you can see just tap off and i'm just gonna kind of rub it in and pull it up it makes you look happier it makes you look excited it makes you look just like super super i don't know how to explain it but it makes you look super like alive super awake and I just I'm just like a bubbly person so yeah I love feeling that way all right so then with this fluffy brush I'm actually gonna go in with scorcher it's very very peachy and glowy and I'm just gonna tap this right over it oh, I feel so pretty already I love it um, and then next, I'm going to go in with some highlighter. And this is where my Huda Beauty resting boss face is going to come in. Because you can't put on highlighter without... Without... Setting spray. Um, so I'm just going to quickly spray my face like I normally would. I'll, she said she recommends spraying it on a beauty blender and tapping it in. Maybe we should do that. I'm just gonna try one spray first and see how that works. Okay, I can definitely see what people are saying about the alcohol smell. I usually like, when I spray, don't do that because it has like, it does have like a strong alcohol smell. It does contain alcohol. Let's try spraying it on my Beauty Blender and tap Tapping in. So yeah, I s put it on the sponge. My face doesn't feel tacky at all. Um, it looks really good to me, actually. So let's go ahead and put on some highlighter. This is the Artist Couture Highlighter in Illuminati. The packaging is so pretty. I'm obsessed with anything that looks like marble, so... Yeah, pretty pretty. It has the same thing, kind of thing like Jeffree Stars. And I'm just gonna tap some in the cap. And this is a loose powder highlighter. Actually, I don't even think I need to. I'm gonna spray my brush from a distance. I'm so scared. And I'm gonna tap on where I want this to go. Okay, and I'm just going to go. Oof. It 
it's so fast drying. I feel like I need to spray my face again. Maybe I'll just spray my face. <gasps> my goodness. So, I applied this highlighter and oh baby. It's popping, but it's gold. Um, I'm not much of a gold highlighter fan, but it's very, very pigmented. I just keep applying highlighter. Oh, these are the Jeffree Star brushes. I love how they look and how they feel. Very lightweight. I love it. If I'm all highlighted, that setting spray whew, made me sneeze at the end. The scent is pretty strong. So let's just fast forward to my eyeshadow. All right, so now you guys can see up close and personal how this makeup looks. Um, so far, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I do have texture coming through, obviously, but um, it's not patchy. The powder is pretty brightening. The highlighter is popping. So far, I'm loving the new products. Let's jump into eyes. I have a Holy Grail palette with me today. This is a Jaclyn Hill palette. She's all dirty and well loved. Um, so pretty. So today I think I'm going to do like a cranberry eye. And I'm just going to fast forward this part just for the sake of time. And I'll sh you guys will I'll zoom you in more and you can really see the eye work. Now I'm just going to swatch these two options that I have. The Ciate Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow versus the LA Splash um, Hydro Liquid Shadow. They're both gold to me, but the Ciate one has this purple undertone, like duochrome color, and it's God, they're both stunning. So here's the LA Splash on top. And then here's the Ciate. If you can see in the packaging, it looks purple. And then on camera, uh, I think I want to use this just because, but I don't want to, I'm just going to use the Ciate one. Uh, the duochrome is just like making my heart happy. So first I am going to put some inner highlight. I really like my inner eyes to be blown out. It just makes your eyes look so much bigger. And I take it up to the eyebrow and down. So pretty. This is a look as is. And then I'm just going to take this. I'm kind of worried about how it's going to dry down. But I'm just going to take it and I'm going to um, just start applying it. And there it is. It's kind of easy to cut a crease with this doe foot applicator. Um, a trick for cut crease is when you apply concealer, like say this is concealer, look down when you apply it and just apply a small amount and then look up. And then it's going to give you a line just like that. And that's going to be your guide to how far up you should be going. Oh my god, this is so pretty. So there it is, oh, so pretty. And I'm just gonna go in with a kind of like a kabuki style eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna tap into the burgundy shade that I used last and just push that in the outer edge. Flick it. Oh. 
oh baby Jesus look how pretty this is so I'm just gonna pop on some eyeliner and mascara and lashes and I'll be back and today I'm going to be using my Coco Lashes in Style Queen B. These are my Holy Grail lashes. And of course, for liner and mascara, I've been loving the Benefit products, the Roller Lash and the Roller Liner. So I'm going to be using those two today. Just popping some eyeshadow underneath. So I went ahead and finished it with some Milani uh, Amore Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in shade Adorable. I love these liquid lipsticks. One, the packaging is stunning. And then two, it's just beautiful. So here's the finished look. Um, I have one more product to try. So now, finally, we get to try this Huda Beauty nymph body glow so i didn't buy the brush that went with it because it was really expensive and i have brushes so i'm just going to shake this up my battery is dying oh my god and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pump it on the brush actually first of all the packaging is stunning and let's just pray my camera doesn't die. And I'm going to apply it here. This product is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that beautiful sheen. It gives me, ooh, can't wait for summer. I can't wait to try this on my face. All right, beauties, so that is it for today. Here is the look that I got, came up with. Um, and so far, I think the primer is holding up. I am, I've been wearing this foundation for about an hour now. Um, and I don't see any flaws in it. So I give a thumbs up to the primer. Obviously, I will let you guys know if I still like it in my next video, if I continue to use it. This eyeshadow holy crap bomb i wonder how much these are siate london yeah siate london eye luster cream shadows beautiful um the setting powder i don't see any creases under my eyes it looks amazing um i just feel so beautiful like i feel like i need to go somewhere what do you guys think all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. Thank you so much for supporting me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Leave any comments of any new products you want me to try or test out. I love buying makeup. So yeah, so stay tuned. All right, love you guys. Have a beautiful rest of the day.